Omusi kuundi ma. Ah. Trokurari semia mia suku girango uyumus. Omusi magachu. Ibi take care of subzachu. Ibi hindu gwe. No kubimbere ya. Ichuwa ino chawe ma. Kikugaru kire. Kukuri mana. Tugu kome ya mashi tugu shima nga mi yesu. Amen. Tukuangere du kome ya mana ya tu mashi mishi.
Tu quando 
atubwira ngo nimubeho nimugende mubeho aduho buzima Oh, 
Tiwaru kushora kugira kuri. Ngaho tugira kuri.
kazi materaniro y'umunsi ariko umwanya wo kuramya ntabwo urarangira neza tugiye gusaba gihari ndirimo nasigayeho there is one song that i'm still thinking about ari sejesho rivuga ngo ibihe ntibikatume there is a prayer that says that niba hari kimana cyo kugikobwa ngo ibihe ntibyashobora kugura ikimana there is a song that I remained on. The song that we sang in this Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The song we sang the Hallelujah! We sang in the congregation. We sang in the congregation. We sang in the Okay.
Nijiweba ikabona mu nda ingoma. Undi gitero kibanza kivuga ngo. Ah! 
Tunakushimia maana ziza. Tukwachiwa iromani komeye. Tuzamu izina ryawe muri iki gitondo. Tunakushimia kuguha iki gitondo. Tunakushimia kuduhaya matera ni romeza muri iki gitondo. Tunakushimia ko warinza abanga na gutya mwami bakagera imbere ya maso yawe imani komeye. Muri aka kanya turamagara imbaraga za kugira ngo zize zibane natwe muri aya matera ni ro. Datsengera mwami umutima wa buri muntu wese wageza ahantu. Data reka uyu munsi uwo munsi udasanzwe mu buzima bwacu. Reka mwami uganire n'imitima yacu. Reka mwami abaje baremerewe batahe baruhutse mwami. Reka abaje bafite ibibazo batahane ibisubizo mwami komeye. Reka mwami abaje bihebye batahe batanye ibisubizo mwami. Urakoze kuri imana nziza. Urakoze kuri imana igiye kuduha ibihe byiza muri iki gitondo. Urakoze mwami kugwa uyu mwanya mwiza uduhaye. Tugwaye cyubahiro mana nziza. Tukushize juku kurimani kome ye. Mwizi na rja Yesu Kristo tusenze tukize ye. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let's not request everybody to greet the person. Niwa ngomga umubazi zinariki. Niwa tamuzi. If possible, ask the person the names if you do not know the person. Dushimye abariri mjibati yowe muri mwanya mwiza. We thank the worshippers who have led us through the worshipping time. They have done a great job and may God bless them. We thank everyone who has left every other program that you had. And you chose to come before God today on the Sunday. May God bless you. Uyu munsi turi mu giterane cy'urubyiruko. Today we are in the youth conference. Tukimaze mu gihe twagitangiye kwa gatatu. We started it a long time ago. We started on on Ni giterane gifite intego ivuga ngo activate your full potentials. It is the conference that has a theme or a topic that says that activate your full potential. Cyangwa se gukoresha ubushobozi bwawe bwose. All activating your full potential. Aya matera ni rero ntabwo ari aya matera ni rasanzwe yo kukihumweru turi mu giterane. This is not the normal congregation on Sunday we are in a conference. Utegura umutima wawe kumva ikintu kidasanzwe uyu munsi. Prepare your hearts to listen and to hear something different and something special today. Turashimira ubuyobozi bw'itorero bwatwemereye nka department y'urubyiruko kugira ngo dutegure iki giterane. We thank the leadership of the church that allowed us to prepare this conference. Hari umwanditsi mwiza wavuze ngo leadership is not always about getting things done right aravuga ngo leadership is about getting things done things done through other people uh, there is this author who say that ubuyobozi ntagaru gukora ibintu neza buri gihe ahubwo ubuyobozi no gukora ibintu ucishije mu bandi ntabwo ari twakora ibintu neza it is not us that can do things hari ababyeyi hari abayobozi bakora ibintu neza kuturusha there are parents and there are leadership who can do things ariko iyo baduhaya amahirwe nk'urubyiruko ngo namwe ni mukore but whenever they give us time to do it as youth duciye bugufi turabashimye we are humbled and we thank you kandi ndatekereza urubyiruko rwarakoze ibintu bikomeye mu mbaraga zawo and i think that the youth has done things which are great in their power Harundi wavuze aravuga ngo urubyiruko ni imbaraga z'uyu munsi ariko kandi ni imbaraga z'ejo. And there is another person who say that youth is the power of today and the strength of tomorrow. Turi kuvuga ku kwa activating iby'Imana yadushizemo kuko yari bidushizemo turabifite nibyo twabonye. We are talking about activating what God has put in us. Ibyo rero abanditse wahanga bavuga ko iyo ushize ibyo Imana yaguhaye mu bandi uh, it says that when you put what God put into you to another gusaza, person, na nabyo, at an older age, you do not go with it. Ariko, you live in the world. Nine, but whenever you live it with yourself, you go with it. Uyu munsi rero imbaraga ziri gushyirwa mu rubyiruko. Today then the power that is put into you zikomeye. It is the, the strong power. Abakuze ni bamara kugenda zizasigara zikora. After the eldery has passed, the, it's going to keep working. May God bless you. We thank you so much for today. Turabakiriye mwese ababashe kuba umwanya kuza guterana uyu munsi. We thank everybody who got the time to come and congregate and gather with everyone. We welcome our bishop. Na mama bishop Pastor Solange. In the spouse Pastor Solange. Imani bahumugisha kubana natwe uyu munsi. May God bless you for being with us today. Turabishimiye kandi twishimiye 
kuba uyu munsi turi gukomezeranye namwe muri iki giterane cyo rutiki. We are very glad and we are happy to be with you in this year's conference. Welcome every pastor from this church. Pastor Kado na madam. Pastor Kado and the spouse. Mzee pastor turamwakirie. Uh, Mzee pastor we welcome you. Pastor Justa turamwakirie na madam. Pastor Justa we welcome you and the spouse. Pastor Ben na madam turabakirie. Pastor Ben and the spouse. Abayobozi bose mu matsinda yose ntari gusubiremo turabakire muri cyo tubakomera amashyi cyane. All the leaders in different departments we welcome you let us clap for them. Mwakoze cyane kubana natwe uyu munsi. Thank you so much for being with us today. Twakiriye ababyeyi bacu nk'urubyiruko. We welcome our parents as youth. Ibi byose mubona ntago byari gushoboka atari imbaraga zanyu. Everything that you see it could and have been possible without you. Mwashyigikiye abana banyu. You have supported your children. Ejo ni mugoro twavuye asaine z'ijoro. Last night we left this place at 10 p.m. Nizere ko nta mubyeyi wabajije umwana ibisobanuro byinshi aho yarari. I believe that there is no parent who has so much to the children. Twari mu tuganira ibyubaka muri mu w'Imana. We were together here and we were only discussing what can build this. Ababonetse bose reka twongere tubakomera amashyi nabo. We had very good time and everyone who managed to be here a very big round of applause to you. Ndashaka kwakira mu buryo bw'umwihariko abantu bose burubyiruko guhera ku myaka 18 kugeza 40 umuntu utarengeje imyaka 40 ahaguruke tumukomera amashyi muhagurutse rubyiruko mwese twese aho turi muhagurutse tubakomera amashyi stand up and we clap for you amashyi menshi kuri uru rubyiruko rwo mwitorero thank you Imani bawo mugisha mwakwicarira. May God bless you you may take back your seats. Uyu ni umunsi wanyu mwakoze ibintu bidasanzwe. Today is your day you have done special stuff. Twagerageje kuba rurubyiruko dufite ruri active ruboneka mu itorero dusanga bararenga abantu 1500. We've tried to count the youth that we have in church and it went beyond 500. I think you can actually understand the strength Imani that we have. Mugisha. May God bless you. Ndashaka kwakira by'umwihariko Komite y'urubyiruko na komite ya coordination y'iki giterane bahagurukira hamwe bose kugira ngo nabo tubakomera amashyi bategura ibintu byiza. I would like to request the committee of the youth ministry. Amashyi menshi cyane niba nta cyo bibatwaye. The coordination team to stand up. Mwarakoze cyane bakoze ibimana imana ibamo. God bless you you've done well. So twakiriye abadukurikira bari online. We would like to welcome the people following us online. Ndatekereza ni benshi cyane. I'm very sure it's a, a, a big number of people. Namwe muri torero kandi twishimira kubana namwe nubwo tutaba tubareba ariko turabishimiye kandi tubahaye kazi muri aya materaniro. You are also a congregation and we are very happy to be with you in today's gathering. Ntabwo rero turi ufata umwanya munini cyane tufite amateraniro menshi mu munsi turakomeza ni mugoro hari giterane gikomeye dusoza niyo mpamvu turi gukore twihuta aya masaha kugira ngo tuze gukomeza izindi gahunda za ni mugoro. Therefore we're not going to take a lot of time today because we still have another program that is coming in the afternoon as we close the conference that's why we're going to do everything as quick as we can. Mbere yuko tujya mu indi gahunda ndashaka gushimira na Pastor Juste utuyoboye muri department ya yacu y'urubyiruko. However, before I continue with other programs, I would like to thank Pastor Juste for being with us. We thank him as the pastor who is in charge of youth. Now we usher to the time of giving our offertories. Everybody prepare the offering that you brought so that we can offer to God. This is a season or this is an action of thanking God. This is not an, as usual an action that is usual. It's something that you have to do as you say as well that I'm thanking God. Today there is a special offering of social affairs. The old help us to open the basket here in front. So that we can also as well support those who cannot afford each and everything. Uh, I would like to request the worshipers again to help us through one song in five minutes. After that, after that, I would like to request our parents to be sure to come and welcome people who are not here. He's going, going to welcome He's going to welcome guests and also continue with the announcements. And as well, continue with the word of God. 
worshippers, may you step in front as you quickly as you can. Kujira ngo muti wole mura kakanya gato kandi kukuram nima na no kuyimbaza ndetse turi mu rukutanga ituro so that you can help us through this time of praising and worshiping god and as a way as well we give the offering tuzamuri imani bitanze haleluya tena ndo tuzamuri imani bitanze
Abarimbi mu garuke gatoya. Giye kuba indi minota itatu. Itatu mutore kubera ko ari gahunda y'urubyiruko itatu gusa. Nzabake, ongira ka karirimbo ntabwo karangiye nge nufise katarangi. Kamwe kanzabakiza. Tukarimbi indi minota itatu niturangiza turabona kwakira bishop. Ni mugoro wadufite abarimbi beza twatumiye. Alarum irabihari igisubizira bihari turakomeza kuramya Imana. Turakomeza kuramya Imana rwose ntiyagira ubura. Ari kore katurangize nako karimbo kugira ngo tujye mu ijambo ry'Imana. Kwakire bishop reka tumwakira komeze n'izindi gahunda Reka dukomere imana mashi Eh dukomere imana mashi cyane Ayo mashi tuyongere ayo mashi tuyongere 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 dukomere imana mashi cyane I will request for a song. I thought of asking someone to sing it. But probably the one I would give a chance doesn't have a voice to sing the song. Uh, I will call you father as a team. And I will tell you the song. We are grateful to the Lord for this beautiful day. The day the Lord has given us to rejoice in it. A day that has never been and shall never come again. A day we are living and we are grateful to the Lord. If you valued this day, please give a round of applause to God. We recognize the presence of the visitors and the midst of us. 
Beginning with, with our online church. Some of them love us, but they have never reached here. And they support us in everything we do. And we do love them as well. Please join me and we give them a round of applause as we celebrate the Lord. We have visitors in the midst of us today. But we have also members who had traveled. El David Eli has been in evangelism in Kenya. Let's request everyone who had traveled to stand up. If you had traveled, please raise up and we'll recognize you. I can, I can see it's only Elder Didi. Pastor 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 Nathan had also traveled to Europe, but he arrived this morning. Probably he will join us in the afternoon. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, Let me request uh, whoever who thinks we, who think that we may. Anyone who thought we would welcome them as a Foursquare member, please get standing. I can see some members standing. I can see some members. You can see some women that side. We have also two more people. So, Let's celebrate and appreciate the Lord because of them. We are happy to have you and you are going to receive forms. And in this month we, shall, we are planning to welcome whoever has joined. And we shall plan ahead of time to speak with you. Um, we have visitors who are coming from other churches or places. Some we know them and others we do not know them. I'm beginning from people who have come from Australia. I've seen Alice. Alice, please get standed. She's sitting behind. So she's the fiancé to Clema, and Clema, please get standing. The Bora now ya sense ya sengi kavuga mu sengi ruwacho. Imam fumba vuzenuko Clema niwe muno ujumfata mumo to kani gera kukibu gamuri Kenya. When Alex Alex mamo nyachura kwa nuko Kristo wa chuyara chuyara katina na wana haguruke. Alexi is also our church member. He is now back in Kigali. So, sometimes we mention people's names because of a reason. So in four years ago, every time I travel to Kenya, uh, Clema uh, hosts us and picks us at zero cost. And he drives us in his own car. Which is to get another madame was as a dahari. I could have been to get to get at the Guza Mukuruiwe, Bavuka Nakurkira, Avaruza Kutu Tega, Emissions at Kwamazan or to Yana. Previously, when we traveled with uh, Pastor Solange, he made sure to organize with so, his other brother. So, but when I reached to Australia, uh, his fiance did the same with Deborah. We love you. We love you because you love us. 
I'm stopping from uh, there. There are some of my family members coming from USA. Let me see people coming from Iowa State if they are in the congregation to get standard. Barahari. Nawe <laughs> Murumva icyo bivuga na iyo tugeze hariya bitewe na state twagiyemo dusanga abantu imana yateguye badukunda kandi dushigikira nibazaje badufata neza nimwe baba bafashe neza So when they take care of bishop and the pastoral team they are taking care of the entire church and we appreciate how they did it in our We are so glad to have you in this service We know that your family members and you do a lot when you support us Let us request you to get seated There are also people who have come coming from UK Please get standing so that we may welcome you Aha so do come in man amash kubgiwe murabizi ko umunageze hariya sishora kumenya ngo ninde ariko turashimira imana kubgiwe we thank the lord for you wow namwibutse reka do come in man amash kubgawo let's appreciate the lord because of the brother so twishimiye kubana namwe we are so happy to have you kandi nabandi bashitsi bose bari hano bahaguruke tubakire abo tutamenye abavuye muri Canada abavuye mu Burayi abavuye you know kuva kuva hafa muri Kenya banzabikaza nabandi so let's see the whole of uh, the visitors coming from Canada or other parts of the world. Zawakiza from Kenya. We are so happy to have you. And we do love you. God bless you. Um, I appreciate the youth. Oh yeah, now go my zoom this. You did not listen to this. Dashi mira kamere kuri passage se uyobora ma departement me charmoni yurujuruko. Let me begin with Pastor Pastor Justin who is in charge of uh, family uh, ministry. Iki gitera ne chateguwe mfite ingendo ndi mu Burayi tukomunika gusa kuri WhatsApp mu bintu byinshi. So the preparations of the youth connection uh, happened when I I had Harico, traveled. Ariko Pastor Justin uh, let's request uh, Pastor Justin, Gendo Christophe, and Apostle Huduma. So they are preparing for the ministry. Gendo is the youth leader and uh, missionary James is the one who has been coordinating and leading the committee. You have really done an amazing job. We had a good conference. People who managed to be here. And those who followed online. We really had a good connection. We had good speakers. We had good debates and discussions. And we got to know people with their talents. Uh, including Bigirinha Ale. Uh, we received, we welcomed him to be a member in 2018. So the first day we introduced him to the church, he was the member, but he was going to do the wedding. Muhanga. So I communicated that after doing the wedding in Muhanga, he was going to come. Let's appreciate the Lord for the service leaders, those who led in the morning, and everyone who participated in this connection. 
Uh, particularly, I extend my gratitude to families. That the ones who contributed towards the connection. And then last night we hosted a dinner, 400 people. Plus. And the youth members of the church. Please let's celebrate and appreciate the Lord for that. Any person who missed the dinner. Please join others. Because it will help you. So I will continue to speak further in the evening service. Bear with me, you come forward. And I will not exceed the time that I, I tend to use. Yes. Chance ya gihe yasanze abana ubanza ashobora kuba ari wayishobora ariko na nindirimbo yoroshe turayiririmbira hamwe ivuga ngo mwanyimira tugaguka twarimbe iyo ndirimbo Let's all get standard and we sing that song Kuko yaje gutyo Muri iyo ndirimbo hara hara ndaza gusengera umuryango wa Alex And then there after our, within that song I'll pray for the family of Alex so people who follow services this is the second time I'll be praying for him uh, so last time uh, we had a revelation with El Davideri, but it's still necessary for us to so I usually don't speak about and please do not fear there's no any issue
Musubire mu mwanya wanyu. Ni uta tuganira ijambo ry'Imana. Let's share the word of God. Nasoma muri Yesaya 40 we're taking our reading in Isaiah. We've been standing for a while. We shall read while you're seated. Verses 31. Whatever I will not mention, I will speak about it in the afternoon. Isaiah chapter 40. Verses 31. Dusome mwizina rya Yesu. Kamere kuri 33. Let's begin from verses 30. Aravuga ngo abasore bimigenda bazacogora baruhe. Nabasore bazagwa rwose ariko abategereza uwiteka bazasubizwamo imbaraga. Bazasubizwamo integesha bazatumbagira mu kirere bagurukisha amababa nk'ibisiga bazirukabe kunanirwa bazagenda be gucogora mwakira ijambo ry'Imana biragoye mu minota mike ya dusigaranye it is difficult in the few minutes we are remaining with ku developa iri jambo ngiye kuvugaho to develop the word I'm going to be speaking about. But it is easy because I'm, I'm, I'm about to speak on the theme. Ever since Pastor Aaron him, we began to speak about it. Till Friday when we are with Pastor Kivuye. Navuze nabandi bavuga butumwa hagati aho ngo bagiye baganira. Without mentioning the names of different speakers we had. Bo baganiraga tunabaza nibibazo. So it was a panel and we are asking questions. Twagiye tuvuga ku ijambo rivuga ngo wongera ubushobozi cyangwa ukore mu bushobozi bwawe bw'ikirenga. Uh, we were speaking about act, how to activate your full potentials or how to know them. Because people have an issue of using less of their potential, yet they have full potential. For me not to delay you, I'm going to speak like four things. And everything I will speak it in a few minutes. Probably in the evening I shall uh, dig more into the scripture. Uh, the first thing that I want to mention kubandika, for those who are noting down nuko ubushobozi bw'ikirenga ni karemano ku it is because the full potential, it is an inborn person. In every creature, God only put the full potential in a human being. Which means that we are crea created with potential. Either you may live as if you don't have. Either you may understand that you don't activate. You may also activate half of it. But in you, there is potential. Speak to the person next to you. There is potential in you. The parable of a talent. One of the things that he teaches us. It is that there's no single person God did never give a treasure. Yes, it is different as we are different. 
And most of the time we do not see hours but we consider for the rest. And some of the times we despise other hours comparing to what others have. But there is something I came to know. When it comes to potential, there is no greater than the other. You should be not told that the other person is greater than you. That is a principle that I'm going to dig deep in. When God was creating a person, he spoke of a great thing. And he put it in action. He said that let, let us create a person in our own image. Let us create a man in our own image. And he shall have the dominion. That is God who spoke such words. So it implies you are created in God's image. You are created in capacity of God. And you are created with the potential of God. Those who say that you cannot manage it, I don't know where they get it from. The reason that's why they say that it is because they don't know you. And the reason you accept it, it is because you don't know yourself. So because people don't know you, they speak whatever they want. And because you don't know yourself, you receive whatever they speak about. But today, this week, activate your knowledge that tells you that you are capable because you are created in God's image. Psalms chapter 8 the Bible says that uh, he was almost making him as a God which means that a person it is 99% of God minus one to be full God and among those people you are inclusive let me elaborate this when God was creating Adam three great things powerful things he gave them the first thing he gave him his own image. The second thing, fellowship. The third thing, riches. Let me explain what it means to be created in God's image. Because these are good words. The English Bible uses two words. Image. It speaks about image. Likeness. And it speaks likeness. God's image. There are three things. The first thing. Uh, in French it's called resembling. Resemblance. Resemblance. <laughs> Which means that we have the nature of God. Which means that we resemble how God is. The same way God thinks, the same way we think. God's will is the same way we may have. So which means that God thinks he found himself as he was not created. And God duplicated everything in a man. Hello? Are we together? So a person who manufactured iPhone 12, he only did one. He only manufactured one. He did not make all versions. So after making one, uh, he tried it. And then he saw that all the things that he ought to put in were full. So he gave uh, the factories to duplicate. Whatever is in this iPhone, 
put, uh, put insert them in other forms. That is what we call it. Whatever that is in life, he held them and he gave it to a man. man. He said, Begin for today. You are also God. You have the potential. There's nothing that you can do. To do. Because in your potential, it is for God's Almighty. That is why Paul got to Revelation. He said that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because the same way Christ is, that is the same way his people are. Let's celebrate the Lord. So, a person looks like God. Everything God has, a man has. So, do not be amazed by the, the things that people have. For the aeroplanes to fly in the sky. There are things that I think of now that may happen tomorrow. If I tell you, you may think that I'm exaggerating. Sometimes sometimes 50 years. Because no one knew that this could be possible. In 40 years ago, who would ever think that we may sit and have a conversation directly with people in Australia? They go to dine while you see them. They go in the, in the sitting room. You speak as if you're seated together. You see their clothing and then you see the scars on the body. So if a person would speak that in 1980, they would say maybe you are really confused. If a person would narrate a story of having Bari spoken with a person in the USA, they would say they are misconstrued. But you can see that is happening so now. Ubasha, so all that capacity, manuka, it is not an accident. God blessed this person. You may either work under the potential, but when God created a man, he gave him the potential. Kurema, so the day God rested to create, God had finished to do the handover with Adam. God said I had finished whatever I ought to do. I am now resting. And you shall continue what I did not do. So he had God's likeness. The second thing it means. God's image. Representation. 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 If you want to know uh, an American citizen in Rwanda, the way they work, the way they think, the way they operate, you go to their embassy because they have an embassy that presents them and they have an ambassador who represents if you want to know God, you, you look upon the person who represents God. That is why Paul authored to the Corinthians that who are we? We are the messengers in, in representing Christ. In the English versions of the Bible and also French Bibles, they don't use the word. We are the ambassadors. We are ambassadors. We are the ambassadors. On behalf of Christ. Which means we represent the kingdom of God. If you want to know the power of the kingdom of God, you go to see how Christians behave. Because all Power, God has placed them in Christ and those who received him they received his power when he 
when we walk in, God is it is not us who are walking, but it is in Christ in us. That is why Paul said it. I was crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who is living, but rather Christ living in me. I will present, I am the ambassador. The power that was in Christ, that power is in the believers. I'm still speaking about God giving all the potentials. That is what representation or being an ambassador means. So the third explanation of being in God's image, it is the fellowship. A person who is in your image you relate easily. A man and an animal cannot easily relate. So it needs constant training. So because the first reaction, if a man sees an animal, they have to be scared. But if you see a man who, a person who looks like you, you are the same. Because that is why Adam, when he saw Eve, he said that he is born of my bone. So he did, he was not shocked because he saw the likeness. Another thing God got. God gave him fellowship. God used to fellowship with Adam day and night. Third, God gave him riches. All the riches on the soul and on the underground and also in the sky. It was, it was belonging to Adam. Adam was really rich. Every, 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 every land. And every land was in, in Adam. And every fruitful tree belonged to Adam. All the treasures, all the precious stones, all the birds belonged to Adam. Imagine the, the potential God created a man with. That is what you are going to bring back in this. That is what this theme helps us to bring. Because of that reason. So a man was whole. The second thing I'm, I'm about to speak. I say that firstly, uh, the potential is inborn. Second, the potential God gives you, you have to protect it. You have to guard or to protect it. You have to keep it safe. One of the things Adam did in the Garden of Eden, he felt only two things. The first, he failed to fellowship with those he ought to fellowship with. The second, he failed to keep safe those he ought to keep safe. The third, he failed to be, to, to, to be dominion where he had to be dominion. And he had received all the things. He had received fellowship with God. And also to fellowship with the world. He, he, he was asked to keep safe. And he was asked to, to, be, to, to, to carry on dominion upon everything the creatures. Let me elaborate this. Adam ought to fellowship with God and restrain himself to listen to other voices. He had to keep the, the relationship with God because he had been created in God's relationship. The reason is why God created a man. God wanted to be with the man. 
and they live together. Till now that is God's mission to The word that says that I'm standing on the door Whoever who listens to my voice shall open for me to come in God, for me to have fellowship for me to dine with them. Adam, beginning from the time of Adam up to this time. That is the greatest message of the Bible. Because that is why God created the man. His joy was to live with the man. Was to have fellowship so with the man. Whenever you see you've come to the fellowship, get to know that you have come to fulfill your fellowship with God. Adam is a Satan and then Adam will come the devil in the house. Instead of continuing the fellowship with Satan, God, Satan came in. He began to speak. They listened to him. When you stop listening to God, you begin to listen to what is When you begin to listen to ungodly, you, you lose the voice of God. Every time you listen, you listen, you pay attention to the voice that is ungodly, you have missed the voice of the Lord. <laughs> Jesus spoke it very well. My sheep know my voice and I know their voice. So your fellowship is God. So our full potential we do not derive it from our schools. It's not even the hair we get from the families. Neither something that we purchase. Neither something from our families. But it is our fellowship with God. The time you are in the fellowship with God, you are in the full potential. I love the words of John. In that time I went in the spirit. When you go in the spirit, we are in the potential. Our body cannot usher us in the potential. Our mind cannot even usher us in the potential. But the spirit of the Lord that is in us this is our strength. Jesus told the disciples, go into Jerusalem. You shall receive the power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall be my witness. Even in education, he is the spirit. It's not by the power. It's not even by the strength. But by the power of the Holy Ghost. The power we are speaking about. It is the power of the Holy Ghost. The spirit of the power. When he has come in the person, there are some things that he changes. There are some things that he gets to explain. There are things that he gets to there are things that he brings. He lifts us. He takes us. Hallelujah. In our weaknesses, he intercedes for us and he lifts us and he matures us and we go to the full level of grace. We begin to become the powerful not by nature but by coming from God. Let's appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be to God who united me with Christ and he put me in the power and the potential. He lost the fellowship. The second, he fell to God. The time we see that he is born of my bone, flesh of my flesh, flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone, he was committing to keep her safe. Is there any person who doesn't keep safe for their body? But if Adam did not keep herself and the devil intruded, there are so many men who are not keeping safe for their families. 
We usually say that Ev really disappointed us. Even the punishment. Adam is the one who received more punishment. Imagine only God telling Eve that you shall give birth. But God told <laughs> out of your sweat you shall get bread. Because of you, the earth is cursed. You shall dig, it shall never grow. And only thorns will come out of your But when God came to Eve, you shall give birth. It's as he said that blessed be you too, God is merciful. Let's appreciate the Lord. Do you know the reason? It is because the mystic was not for Eve. It was for he failed to keep safe of his family. If you don't keep safe of your family, the thugs will come in. If you don't keep safe of your family, the vagabonds will come no, in. You man, if you don't keep Our safe of your family, demons will Our come in. Are so if children it suffer from demons, the issue is not for women. Woman. Because a man is the one so to keep safe your family. So you, shall, you have to keep safe from your family. If you need potential, you have to keep safe Learn to keep the heart of the family. You have to stand in the potential. A family that is not laid by a woman because a man no longer lives. There's no single person who has to keep it safe. So, if, so long as the man is still in the family, he is the one to keep safe for the family. Turn to a man next to you. You are, you are the protector of your family. Please be, be, <laughs> keep it safe. Turn, the, turn to the person next to you. You have to keep an eye on your family. You have to keep an eye on your children. Usually we may. When a man wakes up, a woman wakes up. When a man becomes lazy, a woman will sleep, will lie down. So stand in your place. Stand in your Position yourself. Adam. Adam. Position yourself. So because Adam means a man or else a human being. Another thing he failed to do, he failed to give rules and regulations in the home. Many of the families, they are living like Eden. It's only women who are giving rules. So if a woman is the one who gives the rules and regulations in the family, so you are still in the same time. You have an issue because that family has been attacked. I'm not despising women. But according to the protocol, Adam had to give the guidelines, the policies of the world. So you, you shall even see it when a man doesn't have the laws. Even children behave the way they want. So if you see children becoming rebels, you have to question about the leadership of their families. In other words, he is the one who had to lead. He had to tell Eve that this is my home. We only have the word of God here. We have the promises of God. There are things that do not come in our home. Where did you get the voice of the devil? The voice that tells you that what the Lord gave you is little. Where did you get that voice from? But Adam, he only he, he was he was open. So whatever the woman tells you, you don't have to be a recipient. Just get to know how to segregate things. I don't want to speak more of that. 
Listen to your wife. But take care of what you're going to put in action. Because as soon as you put them in action, and it fails, when it fails, and then you say, you are the one who brought the idea. <laughs> they, will ask, they will ask you, am I the man who takes decision in this home? You have to be sure enough of the decisions to take in the home. Because a woman gives the advice. And all the counsels or the advices you give. Yes, you are a man. Get a decision, make a decision. The potentials have to be kept safe. Third, as I come to the fourth, I when you do not guard properly, when you do not protect of your potentials, you face the consequences. I was amazed by this. I analyzed the life of Adam and I saw all the things he lost. Let me speak only about five. But I had written like eight. The first thing, as soon as he, he obeyed the woman to eat upon the fruit, he lost the glory and the beauty of God. Let me tell you this. Our potentials are only in the presence of God. Every time you don't have God's presence in your home, your home is open wide. In other words, our strength and power it's only by the power and the glory and the presence of God. A family that is standing healthy in the spirit, even if attacks may come, Yes, issues may come. Waves may come. They did not build the house because it was built on the foundation. So, so when he lost the glory of the Lord and he lost also the righteousness because our righteousness it is only in the presence of the Lord. When Christ is in us we become to be righteous. When there is no Christ in a human life you are a sinner, even if you may be cautioned to the laws. He lost the glory of the Lord and he began to run away as a sinner. What would, what will show you that a person is a sinner? They will go while they're hiding. I don't I don't know if you have never lent a, a, a money to someone. When you call them, they switch off their phone. And then you call them five times when they do not when, when they are not picking. Those are not people from Kimirongo. And then you borrow someone's phone. And then that person calls. Not you. And they say, I want you. Yes, it's okay, we can talk. Let me give you the person who to talk to. <laughs> and then they tell you, I am in the market. <laughs> so, uh, a sinner will flee when there's no one who is just If you have an issue with the person, do not flee. Just sit and you talk. And even the good way to tell them the news. You just tell them that I can't fight your money. So if they are to jail you, please. I will never flee from you. Let me tell you this. In 2002, 2001 before I, I married, I had one friend in the country that was my first friend 
I lent them 50,000. It was really not much. Noneho, and then, so they had told me that they would give me that money in one week. One week, I did not remind them. Second week, I did not remind them. I had the mobile phone. He didn't have the mobile phone. It's only a few who had mobile phones. And then one time, we met at Ministerial offices. When he saw me, you know where Minedik is? I was coming out. Instead of coming so that we may stop. And then he passed uh, in the small pathway that goes to Kansai. So I could not call him on a phone, but I wanted to. I was going to tell him, do not flee from me. Let us be, let us be If you don't, if you get the money, you shall give it to me. If you don't, we shall keep it. So he, of course he fled and he went into the small and then second time I went to Alam concert. So they, they were still hosting the concerts in Kanogo. When he saw me, so he penetrated through a crowd of people. I did not know where he went. So I wrote a small letter. So which means that I, I have given that date to you. But I've despised you. Ever since Adam sinned, God did the same thing. God was asking, where are you? I need you. Come back in the world. Come so that we may have a message. I know the day I have to see Adam, where are you? Instead of Adam coming, and then said, oh God, I have messed up. Whatever you told me, I have gone against it. Adam continued to pray. But the merciful voice, he said, Adam, where are you? I'm standing on the door and I'm knocking. I usually speak it here. The same voice that was asking Adam where It is still asking the same way. The nature that was in Adam a person commits a sin instead of seeking God they rather flee he lost the potential he had activate your full potential so when you speak about activating your full potential it is because ever since the time of Adam, he lost it so I will tell you where we get it from. He lost all his potential. Now, when God asked Adam, where is your potential? He said that it is in Eve. When Eve was asked, was questioned, he said that this is the devil. And the devil, when he was questioned, he kept silent. So which means the devil And he lost all his treasures and riches. So many families are standing in this position. Their riches their riches or their treasures have been filled because of what they are There are some men who receive their salaries and the money does not come at home. And they go to, they go to feed or to make the concubines survive. There are women who receive money and then their money uh, is being spent by the sugar boss. And then you say that you have a devourer. 
you have failed to keep safe and precious, whatever you have not kept safe, of course you lose it. I usually tell people, if you have something valuable, please keep it safe. Something that we call a devourer is not even uh, it is because of we are not we, we are not manage we do not manage well what we have. Uh, I've spent 20-21 years almost 22 years uh, having a driving license that allows me to drive a car. It's only four times that have paid fines, traffic fines. And there's no single day that they did mistakenly. There's no devour. But I was not careful. So recently, when they find me, I was, I was caught by phone, And I was on the phone. No, 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 and a person, a person calls you and they say, you know, Bishop, pray for me because now I'm being fined so much by the police cops on the street. It's not a devourer. You are just doing contrary with the Lord. You are not careful. Because you are not keeping what you have valuable. You have your own land and you do not register it. So if you lose that land, it's not even demons. But you did not pay the taxes and then penalties come. It is not penalty. It's because you don't know the value of the riches and the treasure. You have money. And you, you contribute towards all the weddings. I'm not stopping you from giving contributing. But as sometimes you do not give, contribute, but you're just distributing money. You can everyone cannot you feed them them. And, and you cannot support all the people. And even Jesus did not do it. Right. Protect what you have. Keep safe what God has you. If you do not keep it safe, you shall face the consequences. You, you, have, you earn one million. Per month. There's no single day you save one hundred thousand. So, you mean that you are always permanent in that job? That is where believers are dying from. And they say, we just survived. God, yes, God will make you to survive, but he gave no, If you lose the wisdom, I will abandon you. Live a life compared to the level you are in. So, you that means so if you don't protect you face the consequences so youth young people you have to understand this that you have to protect the potentials imagine you Imagine you have a degree in law and you, you, purchased, you got the degree in 2005 but from then up to now you have not even read one single book and you do not even know the current law. You are just empty. Abraham is different from Adam. Abraham. Uh, you, you shall find in Genesis chapter 14, verses 14, he had 318 people trained to keep him safe. Abraham 
The Genesis chapter 13, verse 2, the Bible says that Abraham became very wealthy in livestock and in silver and gold. So whenever you become wealthy, you have to bring all the security companies to keep you safe and keep safe no of your own. Even in the spiritual way, the riches of the world are You have to protect and guard the spiritual way. If you continue to hang out with the pagans, they will still revive in you. They will diminish the power in you. They will quench you. Get to know people you hang out with. I know what uh, some yeah, people are The Bible says that those who believe in God, they shall put on the power da, da, of the I will speak about this I in the afternoon. But one of the characteristics of the people, it only flies alone. It does not, it does not, it does not, it does not, it does not fly with the dust of the stars. It flies out and it goes high in the sky. In other words, there are some people you don't have to associate with. There are people you have to not associate with for you to continue in the power. If you do not disconnect yourself, there will still the potential you have. You shall be like Samson. The day he felt to depart, describe the power and the strength he of the Lord. He looked for it and he could not but get it. The lilas. There are many who want to diminish the power. Be like an eagle. Fly high. Fly alone. You go in another world. You meet the spirit of the Lord. All of those who want to pull you down. You tell them that those who believe in God we shall put on the strength the strength of the latter days. The strength of the last cannot support you in the journey of today. And then you say, ever since we need to pray, what are you doing now? Last. Jesus is the source of our strength and potential. <laughs> what the angels failed. Adam the first Adam. Jesus. He brought sin. Adam the first Adam. He brought failure. Adam the first Adam. He brought disobedience. Adam the first Adam. He brought, he will come there. The first Adam. He is, he is weak and afraid. But the second Adam. Praise be to God. Who came to unite us with Jesus. This is what Jesus said. The first thing he did. He brought the relationship with God. Those who failed to divorce. He made them to and those who are going to united them with God. Those who are to die, he gave them life. Those who are poor, that comes from the cash. Jesus came as a blessing. And God gave him to us. And he gave us with food. Our strength. We don't get the potential from the families. We don't even get them from the laws. We don't, uh, we don't show us but we can do Na all Christo things umbimbaraga. through Christ who strengthens me. Yes, it can happen. We can do exceeding beyond our imaginable as his power works in us. He is speaking about Emmanuel. Christ in us. He is our strength. Because of Christ, we are powerful. Because of Christ, 
we repositioned ourselves because of Christ even the spiritual power and strength came to in us that is the good gospel of the kingdom that is our theme of the year it is because in Christ that is where we, we, we face the power it is that the Holy Spirit he is the agent of strength in other words activating it is to connect in Christ. If you are in Christ, remain there. If you are in Christ, abide in Him. If you are in Him, mature in Him. If you are in Him, you are right in the right position. Your condition is just to keep on living. In Him there is power. In Him there is potential. Men will grow weary. But those who believe in Christ, they shall put on the strength. They shall go and they shall never grow weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. Why? Christ is our strength. Receive the word of God. I want to pray. Let's stand up and pray. Before I continue, I want to see if there is any person who wants to receive Christ as Jesus Christ. Christ. If you are a pagan and you really know that you want to receive Jesus, and you do an engagement that is better than any other you did, if you are here, please come forward. I don't know if you want also to stand in that power, please come forward. Do not consider others. Jehovah, Jehovah, uh, uh, uh. I'm still waiting there is online and, and if you're online If you're still in the screen, 
ufatanye na and if you are following online shall repeat after bishop arebeshi dufasha muri ubu buryo kandi ibintu byose bigahinduka there's so many we help in a such way and things stand around ibisaba ko duhagarara nawe it doesn't need us to stand with you nuzumva ya makuru nyuma yiyi nyigisho Whoever who will listen after this summer, please may stand in faith and receive the message. Please repeat after Bishop. Say, Lord Jesus, I want to be your servant. Kuva none ndashaka gutandukana n'umuntu wa kera Kuva none ndashaka kuba icare mu gisha Kuva none nemeye Yesu mwakiriye mu buzima bwanje nk'umwami Aze ategeke Kuva none Usibe izina ryanje mu gitabo c'abarimbuka wandike izina ryanje mu gitabo c'ubugingo reka dusenge manda gushima and i thank you wakoze thank you lord kutwibutsa isoko y'imbaraga zacu to remind us the source of our potential kristo christ wakunza bari mu isi cyane who loved people in the world and he died for them. He is the one the brethren have received. Christ I speak to you. Come and be in their lives. Father remove the old sins and you lead them in righteous spirit of the Lord spirit of the power May he fill you with the power. And may he change your lives. I thank you that you have done it. Remove them from the book of the dead. And he put them in the book of life. Beginning from today, the spirit of the Lord may enable you to go as you want. And may you make you to be fruitful. We are proud and we appreciate you, Lord. You may go back in your seats. Let us pray. Oh, Lord, good God, you have reminded us of the good news that you created us with the potential and with the strength and power the abilities that you placed in us they had to be protected but because of not protecting we face the consequences including death including loss of authority including also leaving your presence but Christ came for the ship to have life and in abundance. You are our power. You are the one who enables us. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. It's not the inborn power, but it's the potential that you place in us. The power that is in Christ, may they be activated in our lives. May it give us to conquer the sin sin, and may it change us. And may it make us to be standing and witnessing. We thank you, Lord, that you continue to expand this word in our lives. We appreciate you and we thank you. Arakoze Bishop Kujambo Jiza. Dizera uri wese afite icyatahanye muri iri jambo ubushobozi imana yaduhaye tubukoreshe neza Thank you Bishop for a very good word of God I believe that everyone with the potential you've been given you're going to use it nicely this week Tuburinde We have to protect it Twirinde ingaruka zava mu kurangara And we protect ourselves from the consequences of the sin Hallelujah 
Rero turabashimye kugwa materaniro meza mwabayemo kandi mufite icyo mwakuyemo. So we thank you for your attention and we believe that you have taken something from the Kandi turabararikira ndi materaniro mukanya. And we also welcome you to the following uh, congregation that is happening in few minutes. Abatari bugaruke muzagira icyumweru kiza cy'umugisha. For those who are not coming back may you have a good week. Mujyane na mahoro y'Imana. And may go may you go with the peace of God. Murakoze na kugongera gusenga Bishop yadusengeye mu Thank you. Thank you. We're not going to pray again because Bishop has already prayed for us.